hello everyone in this video I'm gonna show you that how you can enable virtualization on your laptop computer so first thing that we will check here that whether your system virtualization is enabled or disabled so to, to check this out you have to just use the key combination and we'll open up the Windows task manager and the key combination is control shift and escape and when you do that you will see the task manager will open go to the performance tab now in CPU under CPU if you just click on the CPU you will see here virtualization in this place and you can see here this is disabled so now how do we enable it so to enable the virtualization option we need to get into the system BIOS BIOS settings and to do that we need to restart the computer and we need to get into the BIOS so I'm using the HP computer HP laptop here so I'll use the F10 key or escape key to get into the BIOS and if you are using any other manufacturer system so you have to use um, you know BIOS key accordingly that so let's PC guide for you is here to help you with your issues for more updates subscribe now all right so I'm just going to restart the computer now I'll go to the start menu and restart this made some take some time so when your computer will turn off and it will come back again we need to use um, we need to use some keys like my HP computer it's HP laptop so I will use escape and F10 key you know all together I don't know which key is gonna work so let's wait for it all right so now I will use the key F10 and escape button all together and all right now I'm in my BIOS settings in your system so uh, it's main security system system configuration so in my laptop I can see the virtualization technology and it is disabled so let me just select it hit enter select enabled hit enter now it is enabled we need to save the settings so I'll go to the exit button it says exit saving changes so I will select that one only and hit enter exit saving changes yes and it will reboot the system and it will come back in the Windows mode so we need to wait All right, it's back now. I need to enter my password to get in. Okay, I'm in. So now we are now back to my desktop screen. So let's check here. I'll open up the Windows Task Manager once again. I'm using Control, Shift, and Escape button to open up the Task Manager. Go to the Performance. Click CPU. Now you will see that the virtualization is enabled. Earlier it was disabled if you remember that. All right, so how this is how you can just enable the virtualization function or the feature of your Windows computer or laptop, your manufacturer, and this is how you can enable it. Thank you so much for watching. You're wonderful.